somewhere around, I don't know, 12, 13,000 feet. It's going to be a cold night. And here it is. My name is Ida Valenti. <laughs> I'm 45. I'm traveling around the world on my DR650. Was it 2003 or 2004 that Long Way Round came out? It was a long time ago. And uh, my brother had watched that series and he's like, you gotta watch this. You know, you gotta watch this. And I'm sitting there like, all right, well, let's let the guy's hot. You have to do this one day, you know? And like that always stuck in my mind. And then when I, uh, I met a friend, Paul, who was my partner on the pr first half of my trip. And he's like, I'm gonna do this. And I'm like, dude, you want a photographer? Like, and th that he didn't even really have a chance to say no. And one thing led to another two and a half years on the road and here I am speaking to you. Once you fall in love with motorcycles, like, I don't think you ever really forget them. You might put them to the side for a little while depending on what your life situation is, you know. Um, but yeah, you never really forget that feeling on a bike. We just said, okay, we're gonna go through these countries. So we made a country list, if because I don't like to plan anything. My partner didn't like to plan anything either. So it was basically like, all right, these are the countries we're going into, and pick like four or five things that you wanna go see. Austria. Everybody asks the money, um, question and they're always like well how can you do it and you have to make decisions every day you know so for me my decision is I want to travel as long as I can with the money I have for as, you know as long as possible so I sleep at gas stations I sleep on the side of the road I sleep behind people's houses for me that's part of the trip though it's part of the experience it was a cold night last night not just from like us being cold the cold was coming down in from the ground. Here's all the frost. We did stay in a gorgeous area. Our tent is drying. Being uncomfortable, it's okay. So it's all right, you know? The next day when you wake up, it's funny. You're like laying in your tent and there's a dog barking you know, or there's traffic or something happens and you're like, oh, my back hurts. I'm so uncomfortable right now. You get up in the morning and the sun rises and you're in this beautiful valley. And you're like, I got the energy. I'm going to go. So it just... Tomorrow's another day, so you kind of suck it up and then just keep going. But yeah, I want I want to see things myself. I don't want to be told the way something is. So for me, that pushes me to travel longer. Make up your own mind about a country or a group of people. Like you see stuff on the news and it's like you sit there and you're like, it can't be all that bad, you know? And then you meet people and you go to their country and you see them where they live and you are able to form your own opinion. So for me, I want to learn, I want to experience, I want to taste, I want to feel, I want to smell for myself. Where are we, Paul? Slovenia. Yee. When they meet me and I take my helmet off, like I've even had cops where when I'm being pulled over and they're like, oh, es una chica, perdón. You know, they're like, I'm so sorry, you know, because they think I'm a dude and it's fine. Um, but I like to take that opportunity also for people to be like, yeah, you know, oh, wow, she's a chick. Whoa, okay. In Peru, I, I, I had uh, an, an accident. Well, it wasn't an accident. I fell off the bike. I got pushed over to the side and hit my knee on a, a huge boulder and uh, I was in a tight spot it was it was difficult if, it, if I didn't have my partner it would um, it would be a little harder for me I'd have to get myself from underneath the bike I was pinned but anyway that that one moment for me um, you know we had to stay up on a mountainside a mountaintop it was 5,600 meters it was cold it was snowing it was we were just had come back down off the summit and um, that moment for me was really cool because it showed me how tough I really am or what I didn't think I can do and or if something arises you always guess like will I do this will be I will I be okay but that moment it could have been terrible and the way you think about things and you have to put yourself and you're actually dealing with the situation you thought you might be dealing with and you did it okay and you came out the other side it doesn't matter where you are, like you saw it in a magazine somewhere, or you saw it on Long Way Around, or you saw it on some other documentary, and, and all of a sudden now you're there. 
It's important for us to do what we like. It's important for us to, to push ourselves out of our comfort zone. It's important for us to keep growing. Um, we stay in a bubble most of our lives and we take everything at face value. Like that's what, that's what you're fed. That's, and once you start traveling, once you, for me it's traveling on two wheels, but you could do it in a combi, you could take an airplane, whatever it is, you know, go out, explore, um, if that's what you're passionate about. And, and you'll see that the world, I mean, it's totally different everywhere, but in the, in, in the end, it's all the same.